Guru Nation, how is it going? Wanted to do a quick video for you guys today. Uh, somebody sent me a question. This was actually on LinkedIn. So you can reach me anywhere, guys. I'm accessible. 949-415-656 is text. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share. It helps break the algorithm. If you don't know what to comment, just put a robot. That's going to shatter the algorithm. It's going to help shatter the algorithm. So the question actually I received today said, I've been a CRC for six years. What career prospects do I have in the future? Do I am I going to be stuck at CRC? I said, uh, and and here's the kicker. Okay, this person does not have a bachelor's degree, just an associate's degree. So that's something very important. I need to add here. I've been a CRC for six years. I don't have a bachelor's degree. I only have an associate's degree. What are my future career prospects? Am I stuck at being a CRC the rest of my life? The answer is no. Although it's not as not that bad to be a CRC because CRC can turn into a lot of things at the site level. Most notably, I think, would be site director. Site directors for profitable clinics tend to make a lot of money with all the bonuses and incentives that they usually get added on at most sites to the site director's payments or salary. So site director is an immediate thing where you don't need bachelor's degree, you don't need any degree. Uh, you just need coordinating experience and you need to know the know-how. You need to basically be a generalist. So it sounds like you have that. The next thing, you can be a site owner, of course, and that's a whole nother rabbit hole, which will, that's definitely an option for many, but not for a lot. Um, another thing you can do is probably be a clinical trial assistant at a CRO. If you really want to work at sponsor CRO level, these days, even those positions are starting to require bachelor's degrees, but you, with your lengthy experience as a CRC, you can probably get a role as a CTA or a project management assistant at a CRO or a sponsor. Um, otherwise, those are your options. They're somewhat limited because a natural transition from CRC is to be a CRA, but 100% of the time, those positions require bachelor's degrees. The only people you'll see that are CRAs that don't have bachelor's degrees are people who have been grandfathered in like from 20 years ago who are still CRAs to this day. Uh, but sponsors are very strict about that now, about who their CRAs are. And unfortunately for you, it does require a bachelor's degree. So those are your options. It's not much. It is somewhat limited. But the income is not limited. That's one of the things I love about clinical research. The income is not limited for a site director. The income is not limited at the right site. The income is not limited. And, and this is without being a site owner. If you want to be a site owner, I think it's obvious the income is not limited by your degree. Uh, but if, if assuming you don't want to go entrepreneur route, you want to go the employee route, I think a site director with an, at a nice clinic with nice incentives at a busy clinic with good incentives where you can manage people and do biz dev and learn how to do contracts and budgets. Hopefully you already know how to do that and just manage and train coordinators. You can make good money. I'm talking multiple six figures a year. Uh, so hopefully that helps. Don't get discouraged. Um, there's actually, if you know of other positions that I'm missing, put them in the comments. Let's help Guru Nation out. It's not just about me. It's about all of us. Take care.